Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, teamasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly, teamasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing a model now available pre-owned that is new for the 2020 model year. This is the Bremont Ion Bird GMT. 43 millimeters in grade 5 titanium. It's part of a partnership between Bremont and Rolls-Royce Aerospace which is working to break the record for level flight in an electric powered aircraft. So we'll talk more about that in a moment. Let's talk about the basics of the watch. In titanium, it's lighter than a standard 43, but it's a beefy piece at 14.5 millimeters thick, measures 51.8 millimeters lug to lug, and then end link to end link, the actual distance across the wrist. It is 57 millimeters with a 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Pop the clasp open and throw it on the wrist. And you can see this titanium watch has a lot of presence. A 43, it wears compact for a 43 precisely because of the shape of the lugs. You can see there's a lot of curvature on the edge of those lugs. So the watch seems to wrap around the edge of a smaller wrist like mine rather than flaring out straight and awkwardly. So I can recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 15 centimeters circumference. Again, my wrist is 16 centimeters. It'll fit underneath a jack, but not the tightest of dress cuffs. Think jacket sleeve clearance, but not shirt. The watch is broad across the wrist, but you could put it on a strap if you wanted to shorten it up a little bit. The bracelet, however, would be my first choice as it's solidly made and handsome. The entire watch, with the exception of a few small polished accents, is all of satin-finished grade 5 titanium, which means it's lighter than steel, but it's also harder than steel and tougher to scratch. Taking a quick look at the lugs, you can see that hex screws hold the bars that retain the lugs, so no spring bars here. This is the way expensive watches should be made. Bars with screws are more secure than spring bars. You can see that the removable links are fixed in place by screws, and there is a half link on each side of the clasp. The clasp also has internally two different drill divots so with your strap tool you can change the anchoring point of the bracelet to fine tune the fit and then like the rest of the bracelet the clasp including the swing arm is all titanium and it has a trigger release so you push down each side at the same time it pops open it will not accidentally release rolling back to the case this is Bremont's classical triptych case construction, meaning there's a DLC-coated scratch-resistant center that has these little striations, as well as some setback from the mid-case to add some depth from the flanks and make the watch look less thick. It also separates the case that holds the dial and the movement from the shape of the lug, so ergonomically, though a big watch, it wears a bit compact for its size. The crown is off-centered, and it's down at 4 o'clock, which makes this an ambidextrous option, as the crown will dig neither left nor right wrists. Taking a quick look, you can also see that the shear guards have a little bit of a polished bevel, but the shear guards are there to prevent the crown from being forcefully detached by impact. Taking a quick look at the edge of the bezel, it's a little bit like an aerospace turbine. It has this sharp slash cut knurling that makes it easy to drive in both directions. And while many bi-directional bezels have a rather duffed and indistinct click, this one is quite sharp, like a dive bezel ratchet. The quality is self-evident. The bezel itself is fully loomed, and as you can see, it is capped by a sapphire, like the Blancpain 50 Fathoms, so it has some depth and luster to it that it wouldn't have if it were just flat ceramic. It also has phenomenal scratch resistance. Now, the bezel is bi-directional, and with a second time zone independently settable, that's a 24-hour hand, you can use the bezel and the GMT offset of your port or airport of destination to temporarily read three times. Your local time, Greenwich Mean Time, and then the, the time of arrival. So the watch includes a matte black dial with some rose gold accents. As you can see, both the hands as well as the applique indices, which are overlaid on a gilt or golden seconds and minutes track. Those are all handsome and they correspond with the gold of the hand. The watch is a chronometer and it does have a shock resistant system, so that's what that little logo above chronometer means. It means it is a shock resistant Bremont. You can also see that there's an inner flange for the seconds and minutes outboard. That's slightly above the plane of the dial, adding a little bit of depth, and then there is at 4.30 a date window. Now since the watch's movement is a Salida SW330, like the movement it emulates, the ETA 2893, it has a a quick set system for the second time zone, but when you turn it in the opposite direction, it also has a quick set system for the date. This is something you don't get, for example, on most GMT watches like the Rolex GMT Master 2. Taking a quick look at the hacking seconds, I just want to assure you the watch has that feature as well. 
rolling it over. I think I already gave away the game. It is a chronometer grade Salida SW330. Based on the ETA 2893 dual time, 25 joules, bi-directional automatic winding, 42 hour power reserve, 12 and 24 hour time zones, hacking or stop seconds. It beats at eight beats per second, and it is a chronometer, which means it meets an objective standard tested over two weeks in multiple temperatures in five positions, accurate to no worse than minus four plus six seconds for any 24 hour period. All of this is 100 meters water resistant. Remember that logo on the dial? One, two, three, those little blue arcs are actually rubber bumpers that separate the case from the movement. So like a Richard Mille, there are rubber shock absorbers to take up the impact that your wrist may experience and transfer as little of that as possible to the movement itself. This is a 2020 model and one of the coolest pilot-themed watches of the model year. Reach out to team also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. The Bremont Ion Bird GMT, dedicated to commemorating Rolls-Royce's run for the electrically powered airspeed record.